When we talk about machine learning, we often categorize it into three major categories, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, the label that you want to predict is in the data set. But in unsupervised learning, there are no labels in the data. And then lastly, in reinforcement learning, the algorithm itself learns by making mistakes and eventually gets more and more accurate as it learns about your data. But there's another way to categorize machine learning. We can also categorize ML models by focusing on the way the model actually works. So in this way, ML models can be divided into three types, classification, regression, and clustering. In this case, classification focuses on grouping or labeling items. Regression attempts to understand a trend and predict numerical variables. And clustering is all about trying to group objects together. So the first one we'll talk about is classification. And a popular algorithm there is decision trees. A decision tree is a type of model used in machine learning that makes decisions based on a series of questions or tests. So imagine you're playing a game of 20 questions. You might start with broad questions like, is it alive? To narrow down the possibilities, then you can get more and more specific as you go on. So that's basically how a decision tree works. It's like a flow chart like structure. You're basically asking questions and going down the path. Random forest is probably one of the most popular decision tree model. A random forest is a machine learning model that combines many decision trees to make more accurate predictions. It creates different sets of decision trees from randomly selected data points, then averages their predictions. So what you're doing is you're reducing the risk of overfitting and improving your overall accuracy. Let's talk about support vector machines. SVM is a type of machine learning model used for classification. It works by finding the best boundary or hyperplane that separates your data into different classes. It aims to maximize the margin between the closest data points for each class. So as an analogy, imagine you and your friends have different types of candies that you want to separate. Using SVM, it's like drawing a magic line that sort of sorts out all of your candies into the right groups perfectly. It does this by finding the best place to draw this line where the space between the line and the nearest candy from each group is the biggest. So let's move on now to regression, our second type of ML model. A popular model here is linear regression. You probably learned it really young, like in high school and probably at work did a ton of these analyses on Excel. So to imagine how it works, imagine that you're trying to predict a friend's exam's results based off of the number of hours they studied. You'll probably notice a pattern. The more time spent studying usually results in better results. So a linear regression model can capture this correlation and trend by representing a connection between the two variables, such as the input, which is the number of hours studied and the output, which is the score on the test. So let's move on to something more interesting, clustering as a type of ML model. So the most popular one or one of the most popular models here in this category is KNN, K nearest neighbors. So here, imagine moving to a new town and trying to figure out if your neighborhood is quiet or noisy. One way to do this is to spy or monitor on your nearest neighbors to understand whether or not they're quiet or noisy. So if three of your neighbors are quiet and one is noisy, then you're probably going to conclude that your neighborhood is a quiet neighborhood. Okay, so now that you understand the different types of ML models and a few of the popular algorithms, the next question is, how do I actually choose the right algorithm? And it's not always clear cut on how to do this. So here is essentially three tips on how to choose the right model. So number one, you have to understand your data. The type of data you have dictates what models you're going to use. So for example, do you have labels on your data? That might make the difference between picking a supervised or unsupervised machine learning model. Is your data categorical or numerical? So that's the difference between say classification or regression models. Number two, define your problem. Is your goal to identify hidden patterns in your data? If so, you might want to use a clustering model. Or is your goal to forecast a trend? 
then you might want to use regression. Or if you want to make a recommendation or build a recommendator, you might want to use classification models. And number three, the most obvious one, never underestimate your performance evaluation. You want to make sure that your algorithm works effectively with your data. It's sort of like trying on clothes before actually buying them. So you can do this in various ways, like evaluating the accuracy of a classification task or figuring out the mean squared error on a regression model. So the, basically the goal is to see how your model performs on the data you give it. So that's basically it. That's three different types of machine learning models and some of the popular algorithms out there. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel and go to stratascratch.com for more data science resources. Thank you.